Here he comes. Here he comes. Boogeyman living in a scary house. Telling us scaries with a stitched up mouth. Welcome to the scary show. The home of grunge storytelling. <laughs> the Scary Show is proud to partner with Dubby Energy, the premier energy drink alternative. If you're like me, you've been consuming at least one of those other energy drinks at least once a day, spending anywhere from two to three bucks a can. But with Dubby, you get a whole month's supply in just one tub for close to $25 cheaper. And it gets even better. Use promo code The Scary Show for an additional 10% off. Little Henry stood on the tips of his socks, gazing out of the window watching as his daddy covered a freshly dug hole as the rain pelted down on him. When he finished, his dad walked in with his shoes, something he never did. This confused Henry. He followed after his dad, who was drenched to the bone and shaking like a leaf. Daddy, where's Max? I want to keep playing. This question caused his dad to stop in his tracks, turning around. He... he went home, son. Just... just go to bed. It's way too late. Henry paused for a moment, noticing his father's strange behavior, but instead brushed it off with a smile and ran upstairs. Once upstairs in his room, he found the plush dinosaur that Max must have left behind. He held it close. It smelled a little off. Oddly, he kind of liked the smell. He was glad Max finally decided to share. He skipped to his bed, leaping on it, pretending it was a giant trampoline as he covered up in his blankets. He hoped he would see Max in the morning, despite their tiny fight. He knew they were still pals. The next morning when he woke up, he went straight downstairs. His father sat at the kitchen table in the same wet clothes. He looked so silly, Max couldn't help but giggle. Daddy, why are you still in those clothes? His father tried to smile but looked away. He began to speak when there was a knock at the door. He froze. Quickly going to the door, Henry in tow. At the door stood a few officers. Henry went to open the door, but was immediately grabbed. Henry. He stuttered, a few tears escaping his eyes. Daddy, why are you sad? He asked, smiling. The knocks grew louder as he picked Henry up and ran up the stairs with him. Once in Henry's room, he put Henry down and got down to eye level with him. Henry, do you not understand what you did? What? What I did? Henry's eyes followed his father's as they looked around his room to the dried blood on his carpet. It was just a little fight. Before anything else could be said, the door was broken down and all they could hear was loud footsteps. The next thing Henry knew, he was being carried out of his own home, and his father was on the floor. Days passed, and Henry was at an orphanage, went outside for recess. All was well until one child, pretending to be a bird, ran over him, knocking him down. Henry waited and followed him to the slide. As he got on the very top, Henry stood behind him. If he wanted to fly, Henry was gonna help him.
If you enjoy the stories you find here, please subscribe and click the top bell for all notifications so that you never miss an episode of this scary show. Hit the like button. Think of it like applause at the end of a show. Questions, comments, suggestions, let me know down below. And if you wouldn't mind, share this video so that others can discover the scary show. Thank you for watching. And remember, the scary show always answers the fans, unless YouTube hides your comments from me.